it, you know, there were some times there in, in the game where it felt like, uh, you know, we had some miscues and some MAs and stuff like that more than anything. I think that the thing we got to learn was it's always hard. It's hard to, hard to do things right all the time versus no matter who you're playing unless you execute correctly, you know, and that's the biggest thing we've preached. You guys have heard it since camp is, is doing the right things. And uh, regardless of who you're playing, you can make it easy, you make it hard, you know. And uh, they played hard, they played hard, but we did some things that really, uh, you know, that really put, put ourselves in jeopardy. And, and that's what comes back to we always preach Oregon won't beat Oregon. Oregon cannot beat Oregon. And, that, and that's the biggest thing we're focused on. What did you see out of CJ Verdell on Saturday? CJ's continued to do a nice job. All our backs have, uh, are all different in, in, in different stages, and uh, they all do a few different things, but they're all, they've all got a special gift in, in one way or their own. And CJ did a really nice job continues to progress and as a young guy and um, we're excited about that. Now that Tyler's a snap away, where is he in his progression and are you doing more with him to get him ready in case of emergency on Saturday? Yeah, I mean anytime you got a, a, a rotation at quarterback and you get a, you get a, you know another true freshman that's going to potentially have to go in, you know, I think we're taking the appropriate steps. Uh, he continues to develop every day. And I think you know, just like anything else, when you see that come to light, when you're like, oh, wow, I'm one snap away truly now, um, you know, you hope that there's not too much of a mindset. But the reality of it is, you know, he's really he's really done a nice job this week of getting in early and getting a little bit more. And and, uh, and, and so we'll be we'll be ready to get him all. How was the focus of today's practice? Do you feel like guys are dialed in? Yeah, yeah, I did. I think we had a good practice. How have you seen that relationship with Tyler and Braxton kind of form over this not only fighting for a spot, but like you know, being the backup spot. Uh, you know, I think the relationship in the quarterback room is really healthy. I think that uh, there's a there's a an understanding that there's a you know, you're in a position that's got to be the mentally the mentally and physically toughest guy in the field, and that's how we that's how we preach that position. I think those guys understanding that if they start worrying about who's sitting next to them as opposed to getting better at the position, you won't grow at this position. Uh, you'll end up thinking about other things, and you can't. They've done a nice job of, of, uh, of learning from each other, and I think that uh, Braxton is a, is a great tool for, for anybody who comes in, and, and we all know why. You know, the, the situation he was in last year. What makes Cyrus such a good goal line guy, and why have you guys kind of chosen to make him, it seems like, the touchdown back? You know, he, he earned that spot, just like everybody else. Cyrus has earned that spot. We saw some things in camp that he did, really, in, in, in short yardage situations. Um, he displayed really good vision in, in, in a, in a, in a muddy area and, and in those situations where it gets real tight. And, uh, I mean, it's proven that, that what you see and what you get on practice is showing up in games. So he's done a really nice job. Their, their outside linebacker, Joey Alfieri, has had a lot of big plays. Does he stand out on film at all in any way? Or? Yeah, he's one of the guys. Yeah, they do a nice job. They've always done a nice job. Joey's done a nice job. Uh, you know, they, they make some plays all over the field. You know, they're, they're from inside to outside and, and top down. They're, they're a solid football team. We all know that. I'm not saying that we don't know. But, but they do a really nice job. And he, he's one of the one of the key guys. Key what have you seen out of Johnny Johnson for the first three weeks? You know, Johnny's done. A, Johnny's continued to, to show us. You know, he's our he's a huge effort guy for us and, and makes big plays. Um, and big plays. And there's I think Johnny is a he's a lot like Justin. He's never satisfied. You know, and so I think one little thing can really you know can really motivate him. And I think that there's usually a, a couple things we're always striving to, to get better at. But Johnny continues to be a a great leader and a great piece of our offense, you know. It seemed like he had a couple of drops through the first couple of games. I mean, have you seen him kind of working on that? And where have you seen the improvement from him from the first week to now? Yeah, I mean, there's been a steady improvement from just understanding holistically of the game, our offense, and then, um, you know, the drops are just something we can't have, you know, regardless who it is. It's not just Johnny, you know, they're, they're, they're things that they're continuing to work on and, and catching balls in traffic in game-like situations is what we're trying to bring to life on the field and move in full speed. And those type of balls that Justin are throwing are, are hot and, and on and usually uh, usually in the heat. So we're trying to really put those guys into those situations.